What is up, internet? I'm Sean Yu, and I'm joined by Zach Schwartz. Back on the bucket set to do another S tier rank video. Mm -hmm. This time, Zach, we're doing basketball movies. I'm excited to break these down. And we're both two people who love cinema. Yeah, film As they guys. say, we're not movie guys, we're cinema Oh guys. yeah, big cinema heads, <laughs> cinema cinephiles. Let's start things off with the movie that just recently came out, starring the one and only Ben Affleck. Uh, this movie's called The Way Back. <laughs> Have you seen it? Because I haven't, but I've, yeah, seen, haven't enough, either. I've seen enough trailers yeah. to be like, I know where this movie is. People of the Ringer were very fired up because they kind of remember what it They like, They were all them. thought it was like their perfect ideal of a movie of like a drunk Ben Affleck yeah. struggling through life while coaching up a bunch of like, you know, kids, like rough, kids from roughing out town. down yeah, yeah. and then trying to make a successful team, a classic <laughs> basketball story. I, I feel like this is just automatically like a low tier movie. Yeah, probably B tier for me. Whoa. Is that too high? That's yeah, high. I think that's kind of oh, high. What were you going to go with? I was going to go D. All right, I'm okay with D tier. I was more like just trying to be kind out of the gate yeah, yeah. then, but. No, we got to be harsh. That's a D. That's a D. D tier. D tier. We are geniuses. We know. We know. <laughs> This one is a Kyrie Irving movie, Uncle Drew. Go ahead. One of the best basketball casts of oh, like yeah. having former NBA players act. That doesn't really help your movie, but. <laughs> no, and this movie was not good. No. Uh, shout out to Nick Kroll, who did his best yes, to try to make it funny. Best, yeah. The Uncle Drew videos, fantastic campaign. Agreed. Be, we're going to put aside all the Kyrie stuff lately, but fantastic campaign. Uh, doesn't help your movie, though. Doesn't help your movie. <laughs> and it just shows that, like, you can say, well, it was an ad campaign that they turned into something. Well, that's what Ted Lasso was. Yeah. And Ted Lasso slaps. And so, you can do it well, right? This is not a good movie. And I actually got to interview the guy who wrote it. And he told a story about on set. They were filming when Kyrie got traded off of the cast. When he was, like, yeah, openly yeah. campaigning to leave. And he was in this, like, bright red jumpsuit in all of his old people paint, uh, makeup. Yeah, yeah, the beard. And, and he everything. was sprinting around yelling, I'm free, I'm free. So... Uh, kind of an interesting insight. Yeah. But uh, maybe he just did Uncle Drew to get out of Cleveland. Yeah. He's like, let me just throw this <laughs> movie out there. And then, oops, you go to Boston. Sorry. I, I want to say F. Yeah, I think so. It's a pretty bad movie. Yeah. Another player centric movie. This one's Thunderstruck by the one Kevin Durant. Do you have a we got Nick in the room. You know what? I have not seen it because of really how, uh, because of how dumb I think it is. Yeah. I watched again. I, I think About I got twenty five minutes. minutes yeah, of the truck and I was like, I physically can't do this no longer. I have, like I really love KD. I yeah. don't think this is maybe his best way to display who he is. Uh, but this is F tier for me as well. I, mean, I was F, I like, was I was gonna just give it a D because okay. I thought this movie was less. Corpo Gorpo, I'm like <laughs> shelling this Pepsi ad and myself. This was Kevin Durant trying to make a kids movie. Oh, yeah. You know, and I was like, I, that there's a little more honor in that. That's fair. I would like to add that Kevin Durant today, I would like to make a movie. I want, oh, of course. I want to mm. see, like, Kevin Durant he's from, like, free of. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. Like, where he's like talking his shit and yeah. like, doing all this stuff. I want to see Kevin Durant. Twitter Kevin Durant yes. should get a movie. That, yeah. Mo yeah, yeah. That, that movie, Kevin Durant joins a team of like kids and he's helping them cook. And they lose to another team, and he leaves and joins that other team. Oh God! Play a children's movie that would be f***ing great. That's good. I'll watch that. Um, all right, I'm okay with D tier. Okay, D tier. We got a we got a fun comedy here from the great Will Ferrell. This one's semi pro. Uh, a, a wonderful cast. A one of those dumb comedies that like the more you Which, watch it, the more you kind of just get, fall in love, fall with, in love it. with it. Yeah. yeah, this one's like either just on the cusp, uh, like B on the cusp of A, or very, very low A. For I me. was going to go C, high C to oh, the point wow. where I just want to give it a B. Oh, yeah, let's go B then. Yeah. It's not it's a funny. It's, it's a funny movie, but it's not particularly good. No. Like, it's not one of Will Ferrell's best. I think yeah. there's, again, one of these ones where it's like, there are things they could have done to make this better. It's the classic, like, he's spoofing a genre, and, like, I thought Talladega Nights was a better spoof of, like, the racing world and racing movies than yes. Semi-Pro, but, you know, you get Andre 3000 in a movie. I mean, Yeah, I, I mean, but it's like, it. dude, just, I don't know. There's just yeah. better ways to have done that one. Next movie we're going to is Coach Carter starring a one Samuel L. Jackson. Uh -huh. I thought Samuel L. Jackson's great. I thought it's a good story. I think some of the supporting actors are pretty bad. Uh, for me, this one is a B tier movie. I agree. I think B, story, B tier is very fair. It's one of those like when I was a kid and I watched it. Yeah, oh, I loved it, and I was like, yes, yes. And then the older you get, you're like, ah, oh, it's such a cliche movie. 
Like it's all the same archetypes for yeah. each of the supporting characters. Samuel goes through the same thing a coach does. It's very much like a, here's our formula. Let's just run this. There's, again. there's a scene in the movie. I don't know how much B roll we can pull, but there's a scene in the movie where like there's that kind of like hot headed kid. He steals the ball, comes down and pulls a three, and Samuel Jack, Coach Carter, not on my, out. not on my court. Coach Carter, not an analytics guy, doesn't realize it. <laughs> Threes all day, baby. Here's a fun nostalgic movie, mm. uh, like Mike featuring Bow Wow. I love the same. I think One, like Mike's a good movie. Really good soundtrack. Great soundtrack. Great cameos. Like awesome Dirk, cameos. Jake, and like every basketball player at the time who was like relevant. Was in it and was like funny and like he, and they hit their marks on it. Like they yeah. played themselves in like a very good way. It was well written for them. Uh, I'm struggling to figure out if this is S or A, because I think this is. I honestly think this is S tier movie for me. Wow, I oh. loved this movie as a kid. I thought it did a good job with the shoes. Now the funniest part is they couldn't say Michael Jordan. No, no, no. So they had to like hint that it was Michael Jordan. Like if you go rewatch it through that lens, it's really funny the like levels with which they're not allowed to say these are MJ's shoes. You know the lawyers are just constantly like, like hey, 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 hey. MJ's waiting to sue the f out of a child. Don't you can't even say the airness. No. Don't even say that. Yeah. MJ would sue an orphan <laughs> for sure. I'm not even right for yeah, sure. For sure. Um, MJ is literally Kids. That's his whole brand. Thousand percent. Yeah, yeah, so. Jonathan Lipnicki, terrific Great. in the movie. Jesse Plemons plays the bully. Great is the bully. Kind of revered What's actor the now. Weird name, the yeah, guy yeah. with the parted hair from Charlie's Angels. He was good he's, in it. He's good. The cast um, is incredible. Yeah, I thought it was great. You're gonna say S tier? S tier for me. Wow. What about you? you I, I I wanted to say A, but I love your your enthusiasm for, for the S. So I'm like, let's do it. We'll move on to a movie that came out in 2005, starring Martin Lawrence. This movie's called Rebound. Has a tough Rotten Tomato score at 14%. Oh. I think I saw this just once and not memorable in my mind. Is he but coaching in it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I love Martin Lawrence and I think he's one of the few people who are like, I'm he's like, hilarious. Oh, he's hilarious. I, I yeah. love anything he's in, but rebound, I don't know. What are you going to give that one? I have not seen it. I think it could be a D tier. D tier. Okay. I, think, I think there's some nostalgia for a lot of people, but. That wouldn't bring it past C. Has anyone else seen Rebound in here? Rebound is yeah. my yeah. favorite basketball movie. No way! Talk about why you love yeah, Rebound. Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, no. Nick says his free favorite basketball movie is Rebound. Totally he doesn't fair. remember, and I love that because that that's, is that's nostalgia. Like, that's yes, what you like. That's that yeah. basketball yeah. childhood. Yeah, yeah, One of my favorite movies growing up, basketball. <sighs> Loved it. Uh, Trey Parker, Matt Stone, it's Creators awesome of South concept. Park. This is their sportsy movie. Incredible. It's a really good movie. Yeah. Uh, great cast, too. It's like not even really a basketball cast. movie because they no. make up their own sport, but yeah, the cast is incredible and it's just so funny. It is a really funny <laughs> movie. I remember when, my, when we'd be in games, the, there's like a group of us that were huge fans and so we'd play against each other and someone would be at the free throw line. We'd be like muttering the things that they would yeah, say. It's all the uh, trash talk, which we probably can't say. No, definitely does can't not say now. It does not age well. Yeah. I think this is an A tier movie for me. A is A is exactly where my head was going. It's, I like that ranking. It's funny enough to be S tier, but it's not basketball enough. Yes, yes. So. A little more of a serious movie. We're going to trend to. He got game, which is for a lot of people their <laughs> number one. That's to them the iconic basketball movie. Here I'll say one of the better performances from an NBA player and Ray Allen playing 100%. Jesus, Jesus Shuttleworth, an iconic performance. I think this one's A tier. Yeah, it, it, it doesn't have a pull for me specifically in my generation and demo to get that S. The rewatchability is probably what caps it from S for me, like where like I've seen it a handful of times, but I'm never like, I need to watch that movie. There is are so many movie? iconic scenes, like the one-on-one -on -one scene when Ray Ray's playing Denzel is like iconic, but I don't know if the movie holds up in a way that I'm like, I can keep watching this over and over. And that's yeah. just, I think, me particularly. No, that's where I am. At, and I yeah. agree if uh, someone wants to say S, like, I'm not disagreeing with you ever. You know <laughs> the that. film ads are going to murder yeah. me for saying Like Mike is better than him. <laughs> It's <laughs> funny enough, Like Mike, the only S tier movie so, so far. So far, yeah. <laughs> Let's go to Air Bud. Not only have I seen Air Bud, I've seen Air Bud 2. I've seen Air Bud Golden Receiver, the football, the football film. One. You've seen the whole extended universe. I've, I, yeah. <laughs> the, the, Air A -B -U. the Air Bud Cinematic yeah, Universe. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you talk about it first? I, I, I don't think it could be an S. I think, no. I think the highest score it's ever going to get is an A because it's a dog playing basketball. It's just like, like it, it, it is what it is, and it's great to watch it for what it is, but like, 
It's a, I guess it's a it has a better it has better film reviews than Space Jam, which yeah. some of you choose to glorify Space Jam yeah, as yeah. this amazing movie. But I love Air Bud. Um, good movie. A A for me. Our next movie is Space Jam. So we're talking about the original Space Jam, which, like you said, for a lot of people is super nostalgic and people oversell. And <sighs> it just if you, like if, so I don't know if you've watched it, it. People for like I rewatch it and I was like, oh, this is not that good. It's really bad. Yeah, it's really. Bad. I think I think the Bill Murray scenes are great just because Bill Murray, but yeah. I think there's so much like cartoonish kid stuff that like as a kid I loved, but as an adult you're like I can't get through this. It tries, yeah, yeah but it's Michael's an awful, awful actor. actor. Well, LeBron is a better actor than him definitively, but where are you going with Space Jam? What do you think? Here's the hard part though: is like there is nostalgia to it. There's great shoes in the movie. Yeah. There are good performances ish from the players. Though I think Space Jam is a terrible movie, it probably still needs to be A tier just from like the nostalgic standpoint. I, like I, I was gonna give it a I but hate air is the movie, good. But if you give air, air Bud an A, we gotta it's, give it. I'm gonna give Space Jam an A. All right. Uh next movie, White Man Can't Jump, a classic. Um, a movie people revere. I think this one's S tier. I agree. I think Very we can good leave cast, it at that. Like, great acting, Josiah's dad's in it. And that alone should be an S tier. Yeah, literally an iconic line. It's Josiah's dad that's like, I'm going to my car to get my gun and I'm coming back. And everyone, they run. everyone runs. It's yeah. awesome. An incredible oh. line. Uh, uh, just a classic movie. Great, yeah. yeah. S tier. Um, a, a movie that I think is arguably the actual best basketball movie, and it's more of a documentary, but that's Hoop Dreams. And I think like... Hoop Dreams is like, you talk basketball movies and you don't talk Hoop Dreams, you're, you know. I think Hoop Dreams is S tier. Yeah, I agree. I think it's The automatic project thing. itself is awesome. I think it's wildly eye-opening. I wish yeah. they would do like an updated, an updated or like yeah, a, yeah. a version of it today because I think that a lot of AAU kids could learn yes. from watching it, just the like ups and downs of basketball, but yeah. Hoop Dreams iconic and like if you haven't seen it and you're a fan of basketball, you should it. because it really opens up your world to what. In, How brutal yeah, the football yes. can be, yeah. Another great movie, a hmm. classic, The Fish That Saved Pittsburgh. Uh, a, 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 such an old school movie, but like one of the most like filled with cameos that are incredible basketball movies. Where do you put this one? I was leaning B because I don't have that much rewatchability for me, but it might be an A for I me because it's a lot of people's cameos. favorite basketball yeah. movies. We're gonna throw this one here because it's a funny, it's a funny one just to add to the mix. Uh, Juana Man. What do you think about Juana Man? Because I think Juana Man's a really Funny f- movie. I think it, Does it hold up? <laughs> probably, probably not. Probably not, but that doesn't discount it from being a good movie. Probably B. Okay. For me. I think I, think I saw it, it once and I haven't really yeah. gone back through it. I think the like, creators of Juana Man would be really ecstatic that they got a B. Yeah. And we'll move on to another classic, an iconic movie, Hoosiers. People live and die by this movie. I think it's since A. Like this could Not be S. It's I don't know. Where do you put it? I think given the his like historic nature of this movie and how like people always refer back to like Hoosiers, Hoosiers as yeah, this bar. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. S. Yeah, I S think S it has to be. I think it's massively overrated. Overrated, awful. I think everything about the story is ridiculous. I, like I'm with beat nobody. Maybe, like, maybe it's a is? maybe it's I'm, a closer to B then. What team is yeah, it? maybe it's the one of those things where like the nostalgia and the overratedness like Push outweighs a lot of the argument of it. It's the NBA '75 in a movie. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think we move it down to A. Okay. I think there are good arguments made yeah. by everyone in here. Uh, we'll move on to another romance basketball movie, Love and Basketball, from 2000. Sanaa Lathan, Omar Epps. I love this movie. Great movie. Really good feedback on across the board on ratings. Um, really good, like NBA, like basketball rom com. I'm struggling with this one. It could be S tier for me just because the like some of the scenes in it you like, oh like, God, I want to have that moment. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <sighs> I don't know though. Where do you sit with it? I um I'm like we haven't had a this genre of basketball movie rank this high, and I'm like this probably is the best version of that like love story surrounded around basketball. That yeah, warrants an S, but A is totally fine if that's where you're leaning. I think we're gonna put this one S. Yeah, let's do let's do S. I don't want the you know the love and basketball crowd to attack us with pitchforks and <laughs> right. and roses or whatever. Yeah. Um, we'll move on to another classic, Blue Chips. It's a fun movie. Yeah, um, and it's pretty accurate. And the wild thing is, like, it stayed accurate 
even till today. It still holds up weirdly. That's how like yeah. college basketball operates. Um, uh, <laughs> this one's hard for me because I feel like it should be just A. Like no one is like, oh my God, Blue Chips is one of my yeah. favorite movies ever. So A for me. Teen Wolf. I'm like, oh, that movie. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, whatever. It's, it's, I don't, I don't. Bill Simmons gasses this up so much and you don't need to weigh in on that i will it's a fine movie it's fine yeah B -tier. i'm like more b tier for bill b uh, for okay. bill there's a bunch of disney movies here like luck of the irish uh, double team so i rewatched Air... luck of the irish yeah. so bad it's so bad i think they're all bad all it's of those disney so movies bad, and dude. then double teamed is the one like these could all double be like teams is even worse double teams even worse and double team has that scene that someone on like tiktok brought to life where the girls <laughs> just Shuffling her feet, <laughs> and I'm like, "That's a travel. That's a travel. That's a travel. That's travel. That's travel. And that's it's like her powering travel. up her move. I'm like, these. No one on this set watched basketball. No, 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 not at all. Okay, so Irish. I'm gonna go D tier. Okay, double teamed F, for sure. I really would like a new basketball movie. Me too. There's just so much you can be, they can be done, especially with like CGI and everything that like we can make this so fun. Yeah, they gave you Space Jam and you guys. Yeah, but I, no, no, but that's that's Corpo. That. That's Corpo Gorpo. Yeah. Shit yeah. Like WB <laughs> shelling their IP and all of this. Shit. I want like a modern day basketball come up story. Can I pitch mine? Yeah, let's hear it. This is a story. It's a, a, a man. He's playing a team. He's not super happy. He leaves that team. The team's based in Cleveland. He comes to the Los Angeles Lakers. He recruits another superstar to come over. Keep going, keep going. They win a title. You know, it's, it's, it's all about this story of, of being true to the city of Los Angeles and selling out in the best possible way. And that is the story of LeBron James and the Los Angeles Lakers. That was our S tier rankings for movies. Let us know in the comments what movies we left off, what movies we got wrong. And if you do not like Zach's S tier ranking of Like Mike, you know where Tell to find him. Twitter, um, this is Zach, Zach, Zach. Like Please. and subscribe.